all right welcome to my channel back to my channel so today's content is going to be about communicating and it's really about how easy it is or rather it's actually easier than breathing so communication what is communication I mean, in my experience communication is something you usually it's about self-expression right? it's um, it comes from that ego-based sort of thing is that thing that you go oh I express myself I want to tell people about my story blah 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 all those things but it's also about what you get obviously right one thing I noticed about communication is uh, at least in my experience is being quiet really trusting that intuition to work that even instinct like what is it what's going on there right? now there are several things I'd like to mention when it comes to communicating so uh, because a lot of us have expectations um, when we communicate especially when we're having some sort of like we're having a bad day or a bad week or all those things we want to kind of dwell in that negativity um, in my experience it's more you can express your experience express your emotion uh, without pointing the finger right we'll talk about that this is all the shadow stuff shadow work stuff it's the phenomena as Debbie Ford put it it's the phenomena of projection communication is effect effect gets affected by that as well so in my experience when I communicate usually or as, at least I hopefully not now not as much as now but before definitely I used to expect a lot of, I guess, perfection. Um, when I, uh, no, actually not perfection, more like fairness. So when I express myself, when I tell them, oh, I like this one, I wanted to, how are you, even like simple things like, how are you talking to friends and saying, how are you, how are you today? Or before, I would like greet my friends or greet people, like happy birthday, da, da, da. but I would get nothing in return. I started to realize, and it's just kind of, it's just basically kind of like a practice. It's, it's kind of an imperfect practice. It's not really daily, but I started to really realize that I wasn't what I would expect of others because I communicate with them, like how I felt, like wishing them a happy birthday, or just saying hello, all those things. It's almost like as if I just was I was doing it because I wanted it back as well well started to realize I mean like I mean my as a Libra you know you have you kind of want to expect that you expect other people to do what you do so it's basically kind of like the golden rule do unto others what you want them to do unto you whatever that kind of thing so but I started to realize it's like you know it should be unconditional if you really want to help people if you really want to communicate just do it just do it purely out of, out of love and I'm still learning that myself I'm still really learning that like really like learning this and so astrologically speaking I have Saturn and Pluto in my third house for really like I guess professional or you know more more experienced um, astrologers out there and they know what this means it's basically um, I'm tested to my limits I'm tested to see what I can communicate how I communicate what are my expectations am I supposed to expect something you know work through my own thing work through my own shit like you know it's 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 it's, it's stuff that I had to and I still continue to learn about myself and the way I communicate I also have, by the way, um, Mercury conjunct uh, Uranus in Scorpio. So a lot of that is a power-based sort of communication, power struggles. Um, uh, it's um, very like quiet as well. You kind of hold back until you're ready to communicate. But sometimes, if it's un if it's like uncertain or if you feel like there's no again there's no fairness because it's all kind of connected right I'm not going to go into that whole like my chart thing but basically uh, much of my 
experience with communication, specifically when it comes to, I guess, astrologically speaking, sort of astrologically speaking, is that whole process of just like, you know what, you're stronger than this, you can do this, you can actually get through this, you just got to bear with it and see, maybe hold back and sort of like my expectations, holding back, seeing what it means for me, and really what does it mean to communicate. So a lot of that I learned is in, I think they use this in psychotherapy, is passive listening, right? I apply this to a lot of the things I do as a language teacher, but yeah, passive listening. So, but at the same time with all the shadow work stuff, it's really about before you point the finger and say, what is it that people do? Why they do it? Why they don't communicate back? Why they don't do this? Or all those things. Um, and I've come to realize it's like, yeah, it's it's more about communicating with myself and really enjoying that time to say, hey, you know, it almost sounds like I'm going to be like, oh, do I do self-talk all the time? Well, yeah, we do that quite often, right? But instead of being unconscious about it, we connect what we already know, which is, I guess you can say it's subconscious, with the conscious and awareness of that and really letting that flow between the two. Um, of, again, that's something else altogether. Um, so it's all about really like communicating and what it means for you as a person. So anyways, so that's what I'd like to share today. Um, if you have any questions, uh, let me know. So far, I've over, uh, basically turned off the comments, but there's a way for you to communicate. I'm going to post, I'm going to actually, uh, hopefully I can open up a channel somehow. I'll think about this one, and I'll actually repost this, and I'll, I will uh, tweak it a bit. I mean, it's just, it's just the comment section that gets filled up, and it's just, yeah, I don't have time to read all those things. I know that I don't have time to read all those things, and it's just, I'm gonna, I'm stepping away from all that, any sort of negativity. I'm not going to let that get to me at all. So, but right now, I'm already setting expectations and also setting um, limits and boundaries by removing the comment section. So, sorry, but not sorry. Um, that's the way I see it. So in any case, I'll post something. Eventually, I will post something where you can actually give me feedback if you want to. But it's more about yourself. What does it mean for you? So the question I'd like to pose is, what, yeah, what does it mean for you? What is communication to you? You don't have to express it to anyone. You can if you want to, but that's not what is important. It's about you processing that internally. So I'm not giving advice, I'm just saying this is about sharing and getting you to, I guess getting you to do what's important for you. So um, welcome to my world, <laughs> welcome to Pluto, as I uh, sort of speak, I don't know. But in any case, I hope you enjoyed the video. I will see you guys all later and good luck with everything. Thank you.